Hi everyone, my name is Darren Collins. I'm the president of COA and an alumnus from the class of 1992. I wanna give you a sneak peek at our Center for Human Ecology and start off by saying that COA is a school about people first and foremost, but buildings when done right can really facilitate all the things that we're trying to do well here. And this building will do that. Uh, I'm going to take you through a little tour and give you a sense of what the Center for Human Ecology is like. We haven't built an academic building on this campus since the early 1990s. We've grown since then. So this building will become the core of our academic program. It will house all of our labs, all of our design studios, new teaching spaces. It is a 30,000 square foot building two levels that comes together at an angle of 120 degrees. So the building was designed by Susie Rodriguez and Opal Architecture. And the whole idea was how to connect this building to us and to the ocean. And one of the ways that we're doing that is cut throughs. You'll be able to see right through the building and right out to the ocean at several points along this wing and along that wing. One of the interesting things about this building is it really tells the story of Maine. Um, the building was designed by a Maine architectural firm. It's being built by a Maine firm, E.L. Shea. The materials tell the Maine story. It just, it imbues everything Maine. Okay, so here I am in our print studio. And obviously one of the most important criteria that we, we all had as a community was the sustainability of the building. Um, we wanted to balance price, we wanted to balance uh, sustainability, we wanted to balance aesthetics. And uh, we got an amazing result. Uh, this building will be built to passive house standard, uh, where we're really setting a new bar in terms of building sustainability. These are triple pane windows, and between two of the three panes, there is a, um, an infrared film that birds can see and avoid, and, uh, but we can't. And so we get our energy efficiency through just having an extremely tight building and very, very thick walls and heavy insulation. All of the insulation, though, is coming from wood fiber. Um, we, this building will pioneer wood fiber based insulation um, and hopefully jumpstart the industry throughout the state here in Maine. You know, at COA, we are an interdisciplinary program. We don't like to break the world up into disciplines. And this whole building is meant to be something like a grand atelier, a workshop where we do things together, where we, we practice human ecology. Nevertheless, we do have to assign some themes in some places, and this is going to be our geology lab up on the second floor. I mentioned before that this building tells main stories, and as you can see, it's an entirely wooden building made up mostly of spruce, and on the exterior will be clabbered of cedar. Um, the only non-wood structure is the steel of the greenhouse, which is right here. So, welcome to the zoology lab. Um, all told, I mentioned this was 30,000 square feet. There are 12 labs and studios. There are 11 faculty office spaces. There are four student workspaces, all of our dry and wet storage, a greenhouse, an herbarium, and a dark room. It goes on and on. Both the design and the criteria we use to design it is that Students, staff, and faculty were there from the beginning. Uh, they were involved in the architectural selection. Um, they were involved in the siting of the building. They were involved in every step along the way. Um, 
One student named Jolie Lau, who graduated a few years ago, um, was there at every single piece and step of the, the building design, and she graduated and wound up working for the architect's Opal. Um, we're very proud of Jolie. Hopefully that gives you a good overview of the Center for Human Ecology. We will be teaching and learning in the center this January, 2021. Keep your eyes peeled for additional building updates. And thank you for joining the tour. We'll talk soon.